What's up guys, it's Mike Sherrard. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm honestly really excited and kind of surprised that I'm making this. I just finished creating a full overview for some of my private clients of exactly how we do our lead generation strategies. Because yes, a lot of real estate agents, team leads, brokerages, and developers hire my team to run their lead generation ads for them. But I work with a lot of clients and I coach a lot of clients that want to know so that they can do this themselves and have the highest converting lead generation ads available today. So I just finished a 30 minute tutorial explaining how to properly run very high converting lead generation ads in 2020 with the special ad category, with the housing category and everything like that and how most real estate agents do it, which is completely wrong. So I decided since I actually created all of this and went through the time of doing so, I wanted to share with you an understanding of where most real estate agents go wrong and how to properly run lead generation ads. If you want access to this 30 minute private a video that I usually just send my coaching clients, just comment below and I'll send you a link to this video. You can take 30 minutes and truly go from not really understanding Facebook ads to truly understanding how to get very high converting ads. But without further ado, let's get into this video and explain how to properly run Facebook lead generation in 2020. Before we get started, all that I'm going to ask, again, it took me way too long to draw this out, but if you could please just smash that like button, give me one of these, it would mean the world to me. And again, Drop a comment if you want to get this video in depth, but I'll go through an understanding of it in this video just so you have some context. So let's get into it. Facebook lead generation 2020. Now where do most real estate agents go wrong? Let me break it down for you. They start with lead generation as the marketing objective. Now that's not terribly wrong, but I'm going to explain where they go wrong from here. They do one ad set, one creative. So they create basically one campaign. With one ad set, what is an ad set if you don't understand that? An ad set is basically one targeting option. So that's like one location. I know because of the special ad category for housing, you can no longer adjust the age and gender, but that's also one set of detailed targeting and then one set of placements as well as one budget. So that's one ad set combined. Those are called an ad set. They also choose one creative. Now a creative is your image, your text, and the like. So it's the last thing you do when creating your ad. So it could be one photo, one video, one carousel, and then one form of copy, okay? And then they run that ad. Now, what's the problem with that? The problem mainly is, let's take a look at this over here. So this is the consumer behavior funnel. Top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel. Cold audiences that have never heard of you before. Warm audiences that, of course, you've warmed up and have become familiar with you. As we all know, with social media marketing, whether it be social media marketing or digital marketing, you want to build up the like, no, and trust factor. So like, no, trust, okay? Cold audience, never heard of you. Warm audience, starting to become familiar with you. Hot audience, ready to buy, sell, or invest. These are people that are ready to go under contract and work with you. The problem with real estate agents, in most cases in terms of lead generation, is they go straight to middle of funnel. And what that does is they haven't warmed them up. But the bigger problem is the fact that even though they're just going to middle of funnel, they're expecting bottom of funnel reactions. So they're going to lead generation and expecting people that are ready to buy, sell, or invest right now without having warmed them up. So let me give you an example of what that would be like. That would be like walking to the mall, seeing an attractive guy or girl, walking up to them and asking them to marry you. That probably isn't gonna work very well because you haven't warmed them up. You haven't started talking to them, maybe compliment them a little bit, take them on a couple of dates, go on some trips, start to get to know each other, and maybe one day, you know, they will work with you, buy, sell, or invest with you, or marry you. Now, that's a big problem, also because primarily the fact that you're only getting one touch point. A lot of these agents, and also, unfortunately, a lot of the most popular lead generation sites out there, if you Google them, I'm not gonna say any names, only get one touch point because they're constantly running these ads to a cold audience. So they're only getting cold audience traffic, expecting bottom of funnel reactions and using middle of funnel targeting. So now you can see where there's some misalignment here. Also the fact that most agents are sending them to a website, okay? Now what's wrong with the website? The biggest problem with the website is that people have multiple decisions to make. If you go on somebody's website, you've got listings to view, you've got the about page, you've got maybe a blog over here, you've got a community site. 
and people go through analysis paralysis. If you give people too many choices, they make no decisions, and unfortunately, a lot of people are sending their leads to a website. Even after, yes, maybe you've gotten the Facebook built-in lead generation forms, but I'll explain where that goes wrong in a second here, so stay tuned to that. But anyways, this is ultimately where a lot of real estate agents go wrong. They're going straight to lead generation, they're only trying one ad set, one creative, so one campaign, they're getting one touch point, and then they're expecting that. So now let me take a couple seconds to explain how to properly do lead generation ads. And again, in the 30 minute video, this is going to go into depth, and I'm going to give you very specific examples of how to do all of this. How to properly do lead generation. We've got top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel. Top of funnel stuff that we like to start with, especially right now during the current scenario that we're in, where not a lot of people or maybe not as many people are buying, selling, or investing, you want to actually back off the lead generation and focus on your top of funnel. Why is that the case? That's the case because during this time, we don't know how long it's gonna last, but let's say it lasts two, four, six months and the activity is a bit slower, it's one of the best times to build brand awareness. Become top of mind, remain top of mind, and warm up a large, cold audience that's never heard of you before. A lot of agents right now aren't spending any money on Facebook ads, but this is the best time to be doing so because of the fact that a lot of big companies are no longer spending money on Facebook ads, which means that if you were previously spending $10 a day on Facebook ads, which wasn't going very far versus Coca-Cola's million dollars a day. Ultimately now, because a lot of these big companies are no longer spending big budgets on marketing because of what's going on with markets and the stocks and the whole shebang, your $10 suddenly goes a little bit further. And also, attention is up. The stat that came out this week was the average mobile user's attention is up 80% because everybody is you know, sitting at home browsing, scrolling, which means... Your dollar goes further, attention's higher, amazing opportunity for you to start going deep into brand awareness, not lead generation as much brand awareness. Top of funnel, cold audience, okay? Never heard of you before, we want to make sure they get to know you. So what would you do here? You want to start with value added content. So this could be videos like market updates or how the current situation is affecting your real estate market from a buyer, seller's, investor's perspective. It could be a community highlight, a local business interview or anything like that. Something that, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, jab, 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 right hook. Something to give for free to your audience to help them become familiar with you. So that's what you want to start with. Cold audience, value added content, use video views as the marketing objective, and then you wanna warm the audience up. In the 30 minute video, I explained the power of video views and why specifically you wanna use that for retargeting reasons, but again, comment below and I'll give you that video to give you some more answers. Now, after you've warmed people up with the cold audience attraction, now you can go to your lead generation ads. Now again, typically what we like to do for our clients, whether they're doing it or our team's doing it for them, is testing 16 different ads. So four ad sets, four creative, we test and optimize. You wanna make sure that you're split testing, finding out what creatives work best, as well as long form copy, short form copy, videos, carousel, photos, different targeting demographics, all kinds of stuff, again, I explain it. But you want to make sure that you're testing so that you can find the best ad. I've run so many ads before that I thought were going to convert very high and split tested it against something that I was just trying to dabble with. And the one that I thought wouldn't get very good results actually converted higher than the one I put a lot more effort into that I thought would be amazing. So the data speaks for itself. You want to make sure that you're split testing your content so that you can see based on analytics and proof that you validated which one works the best. Now, after that, again, instead of driving to a website, you wanna drive to an optimized branded funnel. With a funnel, they only have one decision to make, which is to input the contact information, as well as the fact that it creates a better user experience, simply because of the fact that it's branded, it's unique, it's different, it's not the typical Facebook lead form that people are used to and they know that they're gonna get sold or called or solicited after the fact. If you've got a very nice branded template for a funnel or a landing page, that's gonna increase conversion, it's gonna create a better user experience, and ultimately, you're gonna see better results. And after that, again, we want to eliminate one touch point, automate it, send it to a CRM, and create the nurturing campaigns that I explained in the video using text, email, phone number, and messenger. Now, the final thing that I wanna talk about is what to do at the bottom of funnel, because a lot of people are saying, well, 
if lead generation is middle of funnel, what's bottom of funnel? These are the people that aren't really raising their hand directly, but are ready to buy and sell. Now that is coming from retargeting. And that's the magic, okay? Using custom audiences, using lookalike audiences, retargeting people, because again, the best example I can give you is, let's say, you know, I'm a buyer seller, but I don't know it yet. So I'm just driving down the highway and I see your bus bench once. Now, if I wanna buy or sell, and it's six, eight, 12 months in the future, I'm gonna have a pretty damn hard time trying to remember your face, your name, your contact information from that one bus bench. Now, that is the exact same as this whole scenario up here. Running it to a cold audience once, like most realtors, most lead generation companies, and then hoping that whenever the person gets ready to buy or sell that they remember seeing you, but that's just not gonna be the case. So what you want to make sure you're doing is doing like what Amazon does. So if you were looking at a lawnmower or whatever the case might be, if you leave Amazon after looking for a lawnmower, you know that you're gonna be seeing lawnmowers everywhere for the next couple of months because they're retargeting you. And remarketing, retargeting, however you wanna phrase it, is the best opportunity for conversion. You see a massive increase in conversion. I think the stat is up around 72% increase in conversion with retargeting, and that's where the magic happens when you constantly stay top of mind and they can't forget about you. Because if they see you once, and then six, eight, 12 months down the road when they're ready to buy or sell or invest, and they see a new agent around that time, they're gonna work with that agent. But if they consistently see you over the duration of that time, they're ultimately gonna work with you because they haven't forgotten about you. They've been seeing cool value-added content that you're giving for free, and again, staying in touch with them. So just a high-level example, credibility, value, awareness. The three types of retargeting I like to do. Credibility is things like sold properties, um, getting the job done, you know, user-generated content, holding a big sign out in front of your property, um, big sold sign, like I used to use with all my clients and you know just happy clients in general so showing that you're getting the job done you're not just listing properties you're actually getting the job done now value value again can be top tips for buying a property top mistakes for buying a property similar with sellers or anything that you can do in terms of providing value to that audience if you continue to see people watching those value-added videos for a lengthy period of time based on your analytics that's going to show you that they're very much a hot audience and ready to make some sort of a decision and finally awareness this is something that i just have running on autopilot which is basically anything that you want to be recognized for going forever so this could be something that you want to interchange on a monthly basis maybe like a marketing update maybe like a market update that you want to do you know let it run for the entire month at five bucks a day retargeting or if it's something like a video about you the experience you provide and you just want to run it all year for five bucks a day that's fine but again i like to do some awareness that isn't necessarily geared towards conversion of the hot audience it's more so to make sure that the audience remains top of mind at all times and then instead of having a sad face you've tapped into the top middle bottom of funnel now you've got a happy face so that's how you do it but anyways guys again comment below if you want that more in-depth video that explains this and adds some context to it so that you can follow it along and replicate it yourself I've also got a pretty cool promo going on for my Facebook course if you do want all of the tutorials step-by-step -step recording it so that you can follow along again and start to do this yourself but if you do want a free 30-minute strategy call with myself in order to talk about having our team do it again just drop a comment below or check out the links in the description and we can definitely make that happen while we're stuck inside anyway so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always please make sure to like comment subscribe and we will see you next time